Welcome back to another episode of Digital Manetta. The other day, three out of the four ant miners we have running went offline. They were actually up and running, but they weren't actually hashing. As we can see, the hash rates were non-existent on three of them, while one of them was still hashing away as normal. So what we ended up doing is having to go out and reboot these miners. Now, like I said, the first miner, or one of the miners, not the first one, but one of the miners was actually hashing just fine. When we actually got in and logged in to the other miners, we could see their hash rates were coming up as zeros. Uh, they weren't actually producing a hash rate, and you could see the last time they were seen was some time ago over three days so we ended up rebooting these miners the miners actually take a little while to get up and running about 10 minutes before they're actually hashing and then a little bit longer before that actually starts showing up so as we were looking at them we could see that some of the hash rates were coming back online this is the one that had been hashing all along these two minutes, this one have, had been on for a minute. We were starting to see the, the actual hash rate improve on all of the miners. Refresh that one, and it now it was up for at least a minute, up and running. So it's a quick, pretty simple reboot. It's just time consuming as far as getting back online and hashing. You just log into your miners. Uh, go to the systems screen and then hit the reboot. There's a reboot tab that will come up and then you hit that reboot. Uh, after that, you'll be up in my, uh, hashing again. And then one of the miners we actually have set up over on Bit Bitcoin.com pool. And we use this pool so that we're not dedicating everything over to ant miner to the ant pool the ant miner bit main pool you don't necessarily want to give all your hash power to one place plus if one goes down you, it's good to have a backup source now we refresh we can see the miner starting to come back online as it starts to come back online we've got the active miner up and running and as we refresh we'll see that the hash rate will start to pick up here we're up to one tera hash a second and like I said, it takes a little bit of time for it to get up and fully recognized. We refresh again, and this will put us at around 11 tera hashes a second. So we're just up to just about up to that 13 and a half, 13 and three quarter hash rate that these ant miners are capable. Another another rehash shows us 15. Uh, Terra hashes. Now that will actually settle down a little. It'll come back into that 13 and a half, 13 and three quarter Terra hash range. Now, when we go over to Ant Pool and we rehash, we hopefully will see three of the miners going. And we do the fourth one. Like I said, we had moved over to uh, the Bitcoin. So now we have the three out of the four up and mining we have a decent hash rate out of those three and we're back up and functioning just wanted to make this quick video give you guys an idea of what managing miners can entail so until next time keep hashing away and we'll see you in the next video